Okay, number six. Write a SQL statement that will show all the employees that have a last name that starts with A or N. Display last name, first name, and performance. Order by last name. Perfect. Copy over to access. SQL. There we go. Okay, let's start with our select. Select, we want last name, first name, performance. Okay. From, where's performance going to come from? Actually, I think it's oh, right here in the employee table. So no join needed on this one. Okay. From employee. So in this one, what we're learning is how to use uh, wildcard characters. Um, so we want anyone with the last name that starts with A or M. So this is not too complicated. All we need to do is instead of saying where last name equals something, we're going to use a different character. We're going to say we're or a different um, a word. We're going to say we're last name like. So we use the keyword like whenever it's an approximate match, and we're not using a, a literal or an exact uh, name that we're looking for. So we're last name like. And what we do now is we put double quote a star is the wildcard character double quote. So this is saying that anything that starts with a and y and the the star or the wildcard after the a means that uh, doesn't matter what comes after the a. It doesn't matter how many characters come after the a. Let me also make this. I think I can help make that a bit easier to see. Display settings. Let's make things a bit bigger here and see if this helps. Well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Let me move this over. Make sure you can see all of that. All right. We're last name like A. So let's start with that one, but it's not just, oh, hold on. No, we also have to order by last name. And I haven't forgotten. Um, we also need to get those who start with M. But let's, I like to double check, or I like to, debug or try out my code as I go along. So uh, it's easier to find problems that way. Okay, perfect. We've got last name, first name, performance. These are two people whose last names start with A. That looks like exactly what we want. So it was A or N. So here's what we're going to do. We can't have, we don't want to use the keyword and like we did last time, because if we say where last name like A and last name like M, we're going to get no results because nobody's last name can start with both of those. What we want instead of using the AND operator is the OR operator. So we can use AND, OR, OR, and whereas AND will give us fewer and fewer results, OR will give us more and more results because it can meet as long as either of these criteria are evaluated as true, it will return the result. So it's giving us more, op the, the OR operator gives us more opportunities to return results. So we can't do, some of you will ask, can I do something like this? Whoops. Or M. No, we can't. We have to repeat field name uh, operator, so to speak, and then criteria. So we can't do it that way. We have to repeat last name like. Okay, let's try that out. There we go. I got all A's, got all M's. Again, remember that it doesn't matter how many characters come after the A or M. All right, perfect.